Hi guys, my name is Nick and this is the Creation Channel. There are a lot of NFT games in the market right now and the ones with a working game can definitely get more players adoption. Also, it is a trend now that when you are creating multiple games in a game, it could mean more utilities for the tokens and its ecosystem. Also, a game that is focusing on the socializing, especially in this creativity era, th that can be fun. Th do you think that this Taraverse will be the next big game in this NFT space? Join me in checking this game. Taraverse is a multi-game metaverse of play-to-earn games where players around the world will be able to interact with one another in real time through their 3D digital avatars using features like voice chat, emotes, and others. Taroverse will be the first cross-platform metaverse platform and will support Android, iOS, Windows, and Mac OS. Players will be able to explore Taroverse together, attend live shows performed by various artists, participate in treasure hunts, and play multiple play-to-earn games built within the platform, thus bringing unique and fun experiences along the perks of GameFi and DeFi in one single app. Taroverse will launch three games initially, which are Tactics Royale. Tactics Royale is a P2E auto chess strategy video game which combines elements from collective card games, chess, and online multiplayer battle arena. The second one is Monster Bash. It is a P2E which is a hack and slash game where an island is being invaded by monsters and the player has to stop the invasion. The third one is the Taro Gem Quest which is a hybrid of P2E tile matching puzzle game with role-playing game element. Taroverse has the partner launch pods which are Trustbop, Bean Starter, Comunitas, Blockpod, and more which will be announced soon. Also, they have the partners and advisors coming from OEC, former OKEX chain, and then we have the Crypto Thugs Capital, OIG, Dreamboat Capital, Chainridge Capital, InCrypto, Hawk Ventures, Babylons, X Network Capital, and many more. Their advisors are Sandeep, director of Trustwap, and Eric, who is a co-founder of X Network. Taroverse will be having their IDO with the following launch pods. Third week of March will be on Trustwap. March 25 will be on Farah Starter. March 28 on Blockpod. March 28 for Babylons. March 29 for Bin Starter. And March 30 for Comunitas. The TGE will happen on March 31st. With a few information about the game, I hope you're able to see the demo of the game. This is the Alpha testing of their game and we are able to check some of its features and explore the whole of the heroes and as you can see they have already defined the heroes within the game with different rarities and you can also do some actions from your avatar that you'll be able to use in socializing with the other players. The value proposition of Taroverse are related to DeFi with NFTs wherein you can also stake your collected NFTs to get passive income. They also talk about true ownership which is I believe the concept of having NFTs on the blockchain. And then the multi-game metaverse wherein they want to create a high quality immersive ecosystem of games where people can socialize team up and compete each other bringing together a unique social experience. They will also have the DeFi farm wherein they are promoting no loss lottery so players will be able to participate in NFT chest lotteries. This will be done with oversubscription methods. You can claim the remaining tokens or reroll them on the next lottery. They will also have NFT boxes. This will be used to mint heroes, weapons, skins, emotes and even music as nfts also they will be having staking not just for tokens which includes nfts as well as mentioned in the previous slide regarding their governance and utility tokens it will be supported by three networks which are bse polygon and oec 
So the use cases are for staking, farming, minting NFTs, transaction fees, payment unit in marketplace, merging and dismantling NFTs, in-game activity rewards, rewards from leaderboard and special events, and providing liquidity on exchanges. So the DeFi part of the game will be about staking, farming, trading, and no loss lottery while the in-game will be for leaderboard, weekly task, events, and guilds. Taroverse promises multiple earning mechanism. You'll be able to earn their taro tokens by farming LP which will be in the pool of taro and BUSD. They will have token staking, this no loss lottery wherein you will participate in NFT chess lottery to win chess at 20% of the average market trading price. And then staking NFTs where you'll be able to stake your NFTs to earn taro tokens and then trading, trade taro tokens on DEX and CEX and trade NFTs on Marketplace to make a profit. They will also introduce a referral link especially for the creators so that when they have this unique referral ID and when they create contents that will be helpful for the Taroverse community, they will get 0.5% commission on all of the transactions. They will be busy this 2000. 22 because you can see here a lot of milestones for the first quarter token creation smart contract creation whitelist registration fundraising process security audit checks mass marketing campaigns official tarot token listing nft nft chess sale nft marketplace metaverse services development of Taroverse Island with primary layout, development on live multiplayer system, development of avatar, 3D animation and emotes, Metaverse public alpha testing, and then master bash development. Second quarter will be about the Metaverse services, development of Taroverse Island with enhanced functionality, organized events, parties, and activities in Taroverse, master bash public alpha testing, functional play to earn features, develop the land nft system tactics real development and brand awareness marketing and you can check the rest of the mile milestones here that will be about the cex listing partnerships um esports competition and and so on regarding the tokenomics the initial circulating supply will be around 42 million tarot tokens and you can see the information here which will be released based on the vesting schedule so we can see here that most of the tokens will be released in the course of three to four years for the treasury development and staking and play to earn while for the seed round private round and public round it will be released for the next 12 months after the tge so the highest percentage are assigned to the play to earn and then private round and also 10% and below starting from the team, treasury and development. So please make sure that you will consider this in making your decisions in investing in the game and as usual we always talk about fundamentals and the potential of a project or a team to grow in the long-term perspective here are the core teams so Sidant Srivastava the CEO and then Vivek Borada the CTO and Jun Chen the lead game developer as usual we look for projects that risk their reputation and we know that they followed know your customer process because they have a lot of known launchpad and venture capital partners and we are just counting that the team will be resilient and flexible enough to deliver everything that are part of their milestones all right so if you want to know more about this project make sure to follow their social media accounts so here are their twitter website telegram and email contacts in case you want to inquire anything so what do you think about the game share your thoughts in the comment section and if you believe that this video is helpful don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you will be updated with all other games that we will be featuring and reviewing here also i will put a glim link in the description so you can join in their token airdrop that concludes the video thanks for watching and see you at my next one bye